Let's look at the main event. So this is the fight that I'm actually most excited about uh, for this fight card. Aside from the Dennis Bazooka, Francis Marshall one. Uh, this one is Jan Jared Kanier versus Kyle Barajo. Let's look at the odds for this fight. We got Barajo at minus 240. Open up at minus 150. Man. Um, okay, I was trying to make cases for the cannon man because i actually like him as as a dog a lot i mean he this guy is a, very much a dog uh, but i'm gonna have to go with kyle here unfortunately for him can here this guy almost had like a like he had an early stoppage right but he was on his way to losing either a decision or getting finished in that fight against emivov i think that can showed up early uh which was kind of surprising because he was coming off an injury and he's 40 years old but he actually came out did pretty well in the beginning but faded really uh as the fight went on and in the later rounds and with this being a five round fight i could see a similar thing happening here i mean the big difference here is that i think kayo he's gonna turn this fight into a wrestling match pretty early on i think and he's gonna sap away a lot of uh Kanier's power uh that he has and just make Kanier less dangerous as the fight goes on I do think that Kyle is an improving striker. You know, he's obviously he's not the best. That's not his game. His game is more of a grappling based approach. But I do believe that in his last fight, he showed that he improved in that aspect. He was, you know, piecing up Paul Craig. I mean, obviously, Paul Craig's not the same as Jerry Karanier, but at least Kyle showed me that he at least has some good straight shots, good one two. He has some hands. Um, I just think that Karanier, I have to fade him in this fight because he's. 40 years old, coming off a few injuries, did not look that great in his last fight in the later rounds. I think that also another key thing is Kanir. He actually had some good control time against Envov early in the fight. Ended up having six minutes of control time. I believe that sapped away some of his energy doing some of those grappling changes, doing the clinch work. And I think that Kayo and the Fighting Nerds Gym, I mean, these guys have been undefeated. I don't think we can fade them until they actually lose, but I think Kyle saw that as far as the grappling, and I think that he knows that if he initiates some of that grappling, gets into some of those grappling exchanges, he's going to be able to make Kanier tired, just like how Kanier tired himself out in that last fight against Imivov. So I think he's just going to wear down Kanier with the grappling and then make him an easier target in later rounds, potentially start piecing him up, but for sure... Kyle's going to come in with a good game plan to win this fight. So I'll give Kanye respect of saying I think he's going to not get finished by Kyle. Uh, so give me Kyle via decision. I would actually play him as a parlay piece of man. I think he shouldn't be minus like 300, honestly, in this matchup. I do think Kyle is that good as far as the grappling. And I think he's going to get some takedowns. Kanye has never had the best scrap, uh, takedown defense as well. So that's a huge concern for me in this fight. I'm going to go with Kyle via decision, and I, I would write Kyle as a parlay piece. Uh, anything better than, you know, minus 300.